Let us proceed now for the introduction for P, uh, for P6. Okay. Now, P6 is, as a science, is the study of laws and theories that explains the structure of the universe relative to the matter and energy that constitute it. Okay. Definition for the P6. Okay. Again, P6 as a science is the study of the laws and theories that explain the structure of the universe relative to the matter and energy that constitute it. Uh, it revolves on these basic domains. What are the basic domains? We have the heat, the light, Sound, electricity, and magnetism. And the last one is mechanics. Now, had it not been for the pioneering scientific works of Galileo, Newton, Maxwell, and Einstein's that we came to understand physics as a science. Uh, physics is usually divided into its major subdivisions. Number one subdivision. major subdivisions. Number one, we have mechanics. Okay, deals with the study of motion and forces of, uh, affecting the motion of bodies and the properties of matter are often included in the study of mechanics. Right. Number two, we have the heat, includes the measurement of the temperature, the effect of temperature on the properties of matter, heat flow, heat exchange, and thermodynamics, the conversion of thermal energy into mechanical work by different engines. The third one, we have the wave motion. Wave motion. For the wave motion, it involves the transfer of energy by means of a periodic disturbance through a medium. Number four, we have the electricity and magnetism. Okay. Under this, it includes the study of electric and magnetic field and their interactions, the motion of electric charges through conductor and simple electric circuits. Number five, we have the optics. Okay, it's the study of the nature and behavior of light, its passage through different transparent media and its behavior in such phenomena of reflection, refraction, diffraction, and polarization. And number six, the last one is the modern physics. Okay. Under this, this one begins with Einstein theory of relativity and the discoveries of X-rays, radioactivity, the electron, and the transformation of quantum uh, theory. Now, under the P6, we're also going to discuss the measurement. It is the comparison, measurement. It is the comparison of the unknown quantity with the known standard amount of the same, same quantity. It is the process of getting the actual measure of an object's dimension or property by comparing with something that has been accepted as a standard unit. While there are two systems of measurement. Two. Two systems. 
measurement. Number one is the English or British system. Okay. Also known as the foot pound second system. This was developed in England. Number two is the metric system. Okay, metric system, it was originally developed in France and it is as uh, it is at preventing commonly used in continental Europe. Because of its decimal oasis, it is more to use as compared to the English system. Okay, now under the metric system, there are two types of metric system. Two types metric system number one is known as the mks when you say mks that is meter kilogram second this one is the international system for i uh, international system or known as is number two we have cgs when you say cgs that is centimeter gram second system okay now, we have two kinds two kinds of physical quantities. Number one is the fundamental, fundamental units. Fundamental units may be known by direct measure, measurement. Example, when you say direct measurement, a length by the use of what? Either meet, uh, meter T, what else? A ruler, thus we have the mass and time. While for the derived unit is known for computation. It's known by computation. Okay, example, you have the velocity. Why? Because velocity is equal to distance per unit time, then the weight that is equal to mass multiplied by the gravity. Okay. Now for the uncertainty and significant figures, as measurement are performed, then yield to some form of uncertainties in the form of error. The, the smaller the uncertainty or the error, the more accurate the measurement is. The uncertainty of measurement is not explicitly stated, but it is indicated by the number of meaningful digits in the measured values. Now, for the significant figures, we have the guidelines for using significant figures. Number one. Okay, number one, this one is for the guidelines for using significant figures. Now, number one, we have all non-zero digits. Are significant. Example, you have 84, 845 centimeter. Therefore, we have three significant digit, uh, significant figures, your eight, four, and five. That is the reason. Next, 1.234 kilogram. Therefore, we have four significant figures. Kasi according to the guidelines, all non-zero digits are significant we have one two three and four then number two 
if a number is greater than 1, if a number is greater than 1, then the entire 0 written to the right of the decimal point count as significant figures. All zeros between two non-zero are significant. Example, you have 606, therefore that is between two non-zero digits, therefore your zero here is significant. Next, we have 40,501, we have five significant digits, 2.0, that is two significant figures. Again, your zero here is significant. Why? If a number is greater than one, then the entire zero written to the right of the decimal point. Diba? This one is your decimal point. Count as significant. That is the reason why we have two significant figures. Even if you have 3.00, therefore that uh, we have three significant figures. Okay, number three. We have zeros to the left of the first non zero digit are not significant. Okay. Their purpose only is what? Their purpose is to indicate the placement of the decimal point. Example. We have 0 0.08, therefore we have only one significant figure. 8 is only significant here. Uh, the two, the zero here are not significant. According to the guidelines, zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. Okay, number two, example, 0 0.00000059, 0 0 0 0 0. Five, nine. We have only two significant digits. Your five and nine. Number four. If a number is less than one, then only the zeros that are at the end of the number and the zeros that are between the zero digit are significant. Example. If the given is zero point four zero, we have three significant figures. Why? We have four, zero, zero. According to number four guidelines, if a number is less than one, then only the zeros that are at the end of the number up and the zeros that are between non-zero digit are significant. Another example, 0 0.0005001. We have four significant figures. That is five, zero, zero, and one. Okay. Number five, guidelines. For numbers that do not contain decimal points, the trailing zeros, that is zeros after the, non, the last non-zero digit, may or may not be significant. By using scientific notation, however, this ambiguity is avoided. A example for number five guidelines. We have, example, we have 400. A, this one could be one two 
or 3y. If 4 times 10 to the second power, okay, di ba 400 is also equivalent to 4 times 10 to the second power, therefore, the significant figure is 1. But if the given is 4.0 times 10 to the second power, therefore, this one is 2, your 4 and 0. While 4.00 times 10 to the second power, therefore, this one is three significant figures. But if the given is only 400, therefore, one significant figure, only your number 4. But if uh, significant figures ang pagbabat, uh, gagamitin natin, okay, uh, scientific notation, we have 4 times 10 to the second power, therefore, that is also 1. 4.0 uh, times 10 to the second power, that is equal to two significant figure. 4.00 times 10 to the second power is equal to three significant figures.